with our pole form, I guess just remembering that we, we start to write our our complex number in terms of a, a distance from the origin and a direction. So in terms of an angle and a radius. Uh, so that's the key things there. So we've got some properties there. We're sort of saying A is R sine theta, B is R cos theta, the modulus, the square root of A squared plus B squared. And the angle, we call the argument of Z. Yeah, and just, I guess, Ed, um, well, we'll talk about that obviously then, just different points can be plotted from a um, distance from the origin and the angle that they make off. Um, what's really important is just getting clear in your head uh, surprising how often we sort of pi on six, so sort of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. Just make sure we get the the right ray when we're marking the um, marking the angle. Um, clearly, we can write express a complex number in multiple values when we start talking about angles in a circle. Uh, so that's when we come up with the concept of the principal argument. And that principal argument just means we're talking about an angle between negative pi and pi, where it's pi inclusive, negative pi not inclusive. All right. um, so again, if we want to convert these um, complex numbers into polar form, we work out the magnitude of R and the angle. Um, so. The magnitude of R is the square root of one squared plus one squared, which is just root two. And the angle tan theta is imaginary over real. All right, so um, imaginary over real. All right, so that's important. And then we just plot the point and make sure we're in the right quadrant. So tan inverse of one is pi on four. So obviously the angle could be in the first quadrant or the third quadrant, but one plus I is in the first quadrant. So we end up with root two six pi on four. Uh, similarly, negative one plus i puts me in the second quadrant. Um, square root of one plus one is still root two. Tan inverse of negative one is negative pi on four, but we're in the second quadrant. So the angle we're referring to is three pi on four. Um, negative one on root three minus one on root three minus minus puts me in the third quadrant where tan is positive, the angle we get is a, a pi on six. Um, so we end up with two thirds cis, third quadrant, negative five pi on six. Yeah, so you, you know, you might be inclined to put a seven pi on six, but it's about putting that principal argument between negative pi and pi.